I just had an amazing workout. So I'm gonna go with you over the exercises that I was doing in this workout. And you're gonna have the structure on my site, Baderog.tv, with pictures and descriptions so that you know how to even set up your timer and how these exercises go after each other. This is just the time to spend together and go over the exercises so that you know how to do them with a proper form. And I'm gonna also share with you some tips for complete beginners. Because in this workout I'm doing a lot of push-ups and squats and I know that um, beginners especially are afraid uh, of push-ups because that's a really hard exercise and I couldn't do a regular push-up myself when I was starting. So don't worry about this. There's always an easier variation for complete beginners so that you can train and if you train regularly you're gonna be soon strong enough to do the push-ups the way I do them. So the first exercise that I was doing in this workout were squats and all you have to do is just to follow few basic rules. The first one is that you keep your knees and feet pointing slightly outwards and as you go down, you're gonna shift your weight towards your heels and try to keep your shin bones as vertical as you can. And keep your chest up, shoulders back and down, away from your ears. And as you stand up, you have to push off of your heels. So it's really easy, but it's really important that you follow these basic rules. Now I was using my sandbag for this exercise because I just wanted the extra challenge. And uh, this sandbag is uh, 35 pounds heavy. If you're a beginner, uh, you can use, you can uh, adjust the weight of the sandbag. It's easy. You just pour some sand out, and you can uh, use just five pounds or ten pounds. Or if that's still too much for you, you can just uh, stick with body weight. You know, just do the squats with your own body weight. And as you get stronger, you can start using the sandbag. So if you are more advanced or if you if you are using the sandbag you just uh, load it on your shoulder yeah it's really heavy so put your hand up on the sandbag just to keep it in place now it's really important that you lock all of the muscles everything tense everything has to be tensed so that you're not bending towards one side and now you're gonna do the squats. It's really simple. And when you when you are uh, putting the sand back down again, throw it diagonally towards the opposite side. Like this, because this way you're gonna know that in the next round you're gonna be shouldering the sand back uh, on this shoulder, on this side. You're gonna understand this as soon as you read the instructions for the workout on my site. So, the next exercise that I was doing were dive bombers. And dive bomber push ups look like this. This was one rep. Now, what's important? It's important that you're keeping your back as straight as possible in this position. Your hips are really pointing up towards the ceiling. Your arms are extended. And now you're gonna slide, you're gonna be bending your elbows and bringing your face towards the ground, first the chest, and you're gonna slide forward like this. This is the cobra position. Do you know it from yoga? And now, from here, you're gonna reverse the movement and you're gonna go with your bum up and chest go last. So, if you're a complete beginner, you can still do this exercise from your knees. It's really simple. So, you're on your knees, you're in this position, pushing your bum back your chest down and slide forward and slide back you're still using the power of your arms and your chest and as you get stronger you're gonna be able soon to do regular dive bombers 
So the next type of push-ups that I was doing in this workout were diagonal knee tuck push-ups and it looks like this. You're gonna get into the plank position and you're gonna bring one knee towards your opposite shoulder and you're gonna go down and press up. And you're alternating the sides like that. This push-up is really, really hard. So if you're a complete beginner, you might wanna do the push-up from some elevated position because this way you're really leveraging the weight of your body and you can do it even off of the wall. This way it's much easier. Now if you're intermediate, I'm saying intermediate because when you're doing this push-up from your knees it's still quite hard. So you can do it from your knees just like this. It's really important that you're always keeping your abs, your core muscles really tight and squeezing your bum also helps. The next exercise that I was doing in this workout were tricep leg lifts. This is not really a push up because you're staying in this position the entire time and you're just doing leg lifts. You're alternating the legs and <laughs> it's really hard to keep yourself in that position. So for beginners what I can suggest is that you support yourself with one knee and you do leg lift like this. It's still, it's still really hard. So uh, if you want you can again use the table or a wall and you can do the leg lift like this. This is actually perfect for complete beginners. So again, try to keep your core as tight as you can. You're gonna be really working your bum in this exercise as well. And it's a it's something for your triceps. So uh, now I'm gonna show you the Santana push-ups. And this is one of my favorite because it's I don't know, it's just really enjoyable this exercise. You do, you go in the plank position again, you do a regular push-up and then you get into the side plank position and you open up your chest, uh, bring your arm up, look at your hand up there and again push up and the other side. The important thing here is that you're not dropping your hips down, keep your body in one straight line, everything is really tight, your core especially again, your abs. I don't know why I like this exercise so much, but I do. Uh, now, what should beginner do? So beginner, first of all, is going to want to do a regular push-up from the knees. So instead of a regular push-up, do a uh, push-up from your knees, like this, and then stay with one knee on the ground and do it like this. That's an easy variation and you're gonna still enjoy it. Still really nice exercise. So you're gonna be extending only the upper leg. The bottom leg stays on the ground. But again, don't drop your hips. Even if you're doing it like this as a beginner, don't drop your hips. Keep your body in one straight line and keep your abs tight. That's really important. The next exercise for monkey push-ups. So you start in this half squat position and you're gonna extend your arms in front of you and you're gonna fall forward on your hands but make sure that you're bending your elbows there has to be some spring so that you absorb the shock when you land on your hands 
and you push yourself off of the ground again into the starting position like this now this could be pretty challenging for beginner so beginner can use a chair like this or a couch this is heavy just a second <laughs> okay so hope you can see it from, from there like this so I'm in the half squat position, chair is here, I'm gonna land on the chair and push off. This is much easier, you're again leveraging the weight of your body. I get winded by just moving the chair. So and now I'm gonna show you just the very last exercise which was the sumo push up. So this is your starting position in a plank with your hands really wide apart and you're gonna do push up and as you go up you're gonna bring one hand up beside your shoulder and you're gonna alternate the sides really hard it's challenging for your balance you know your stability and agility and if you're a beginner you want to do it from your knees again so keep your hands wide apart as you push off putting your hand up next to your shoulder that stays the same and if you want to make this exercise even easier again you can use a table or you can do this exercise off of the wall when your upper body is more elevated and you're leveraging the weight of your body so that's it. The, these were all of the exercises in this workout. You're gonna have the structure of this workout explained on my site by Direct TV. There are gonna be also pictures with descriptions, so it's really easy to follow. Anyone can try this workout at home. It's only 12 minutes long, and all you have to do is push hard and give it all you have. That's really important. Right after this workout, you shouldn't have any more energy left. You're gonna be energized right after your cool down and right after you have your shower, you're gonna feel great again. But right after the workout, you should be just vaped out completely. So remember that this is the indication of a great workout. So that's it for today. Visit my site, Badirag.tv, and I will see you guys very, very soon.